Hello everybody, my name is Rick Murphy and I'm going to give you a tutorial on how to export a pose from Blender into Make Human, despite the fact that I'm a complete newbie at Make Human and Blender. And if you are too, like me, then you might want to seek out this user, vscorpionc, videos on YouTube. There's some good introductory videos there. Okay, um, let's get started. Let's go to uh, the, the Make Human website right here, because the first thing you want to make sure that you have the uh, nightly build right here, the nightly builds, because it's the nightly builds that have the pose functionality in them. The other thing that's necessary, I'm going to show this bug page, and this is from Bug Tracker, and I'll put a link to this in the description. Um, so that so that you don't have to get it from the video. Uh, there's a bug with the exports from Blender to BVH files. And if you come to this page here, you'll see that there's this export underscore BVH dot PY fix. Grab that file, download it, go find the original version of that file under your Blender folder, wherever that is, and replace that file with this one. Okay, and then we'll be ready to go. So, in Make Human now, there's going to be uh, pose functionality. And with the poses, so like previously with the official release, um, you could just you could create this character, but you'd have to take it into Blender or something similar to do anything with it. Now there's this pose functionality in here, and you can do you know poses like that. Okay, um, but there's a fixed set of poses, and uh, you probably want to create your own, right? All right. So I'm going to disappear for a while and uh, show character. So from here, pose. Okay, here's a character I created in Make Human. And uh, there are some foes, poses in here that uh, you can use. But it's a fixed set and maybe you want to create your own. So to do that, uh, first, make sure you're using the, like the default or default no bone skeleton. If you created your character in the official release, load that character here and change it because these are not skeletons that are in the official release. Uh, once that's done, export your character. Okay. Uh, using MHX2, and uh, I like to set it on meter. Otherwise, the character is really big. And export. Onto Blender. Here I am back. All right, going into Blender. Uh, I don't think that we need these things in here. The light and the camera and the box. So I'm deleting all those. Okay, from the file menu. Uh, MHX2, okay? Here's my character, and uh, let's go ahead and zoom in. All right, I'm just going to create a simple pose here. Okay, that's good enough, right? All right, so it's just uh, maybe kind of a, a wave here. And uh, you probably want to save any pose that you create before you export it. That would be over in the Properties panel, down under Pose Library, um, New, and, and this little plus sign down here, Add New. Okay.
All right, we want to export this now. Okay, so from File, Export, to BVH. Okay, and we're going to put it right directly under the data slash poses. Um, what should we call this here? Let's call this wave. And export that. Okay. Back to make human. And um, let's go to poses. Pose. And hopefully you'll. All right, there we did. That's how you do it. That's how you create a pose in Blender. And let me stop jumping around here. Uh, all we need to do now is create a little thumbnail for that. So let's go ahead and do that. So uh, let's go to rendering. And this should be 128 by 128 because it's a thumbnail size. Render. Save as. Okay, so let's call this file wave.thumb and save that. All right, now the thing is that the file, wherever that may be, um, is ended up being called wave.thumb.png. Let's take that, let's take that PNG off of there. Yeah, we want to change that. Okay, back here in Make Human, go to Poses. Up oh, there it is, right there. There's a thumbnail. Right there. Okay, and we are done. Thank you very much, everybody. Thank you for watching. Leave a comment below. And don't forget to subscribe. Goodbye.